Pastor Charlene Williams, New Life Church International is with me. Author, speaker, international speaker, really. I mean, New Life Church International, we gotta keep that international name on there <laughs> yes, because yes. the name of Jesus in Lima and all around the world. Hallelujah. Author of 31 Prayers That Move the Hand of God devotional. Yes. Powerful book. Let's Thank talk you. about what was the inspiration behind writing this? Praise God, I'm glad that you asked. Um, the book was written out of a very hard place. I was at a very difficult place in my life, a very difficult juncture, where I was trying to figure out what the next season of my life mm. was, what is it God was directing me in. I was already doing so much in the ministry, but I started feeling my heart percolating and saying, you know, there's something new, a new season. And so I went through a really dark season, mm. talking to God and just hearing his heart. And these are prayers that came out of that closet. Those times of crying and uh, those times of, and somebody actually had said something to me that really had thrown me off. And I was so hurt and so angry. And I realized I had to forgive in order to make the next move into the new season. And that's how one of the prayers on forgiveness came about. So it was, all of these prayers are really, personal to me. It's something that I believe God has given to me. And so it out of that season that this book was birthed. So forgiveness is just one of the prayers yes. that's listed here. There are 31 different prayers yes. focusing on almost, oh, I'm not going to say every, because there's so many situations, but you really cover so many yeah. situations that a person would be facing future spouse of children, mm -hmm. healing, rededication of life to God, my children's salvation, financial blessings against the spirit of fear. These are just examples, yes, but yes. every single one is an individual prayer specifically for that topic. Yes, yes. And that's what I felt the Lord was stirring in my spirit, is that people are crying out for these individual topics, but they're not sure how to articulate their prayer. They're not sure how to bring it before the Father. For instance, praying for your children's spouse. I mean, that is a, that is a key component oh, in the yeah. heart of a mother and father for your child. And so I felt like the Lord uh, gave me the burden to write those prayers. And you would not believe the testimonies, my goodness, that are coming as a result of these prayers. Actually, the one on um, a suicide, that one was written a day, Jennifer, when this last suicide occurred at Shawnee High School. Mm. And a parent called me in such despair and broken heartedness. Pastor, what do I do? My boys are at the school, they're weeping. What do I do? And my heart got so overwhelmed with this spirit of suicide that had mm. attempted to attack our city. And so that's how uh, that prayer came about. So it was different situations that occurred that the Lord has burned my heart with. And that's how these prayers were all written. Well, and you mentioned the spirit of suicide and you know there's so many demonic evil things yes. that Satan tries to get into and we do need to, we need to stand on mm -hmm. the word of God. Mm -hmm. We need to break through with mm -hmm. those prayers. And, and I, that's one thing I noticed. In fact, it wasn't too long ago um, I was dealing with a situation involving a family member mm. and I couldn't sleep. I didn't mm. know what to do. I picked up your book oh and I started praying from your book and immediately it was just, it was powerful. Praise it w God. I was felt like what you wrote in here is uh, it's, it's waging holy war yes. against the enemy. Yes. And I just, I felt a release Praise right then God. and there. Um, yes. <laughs> you know, so, so who is this book intended for? This book is intended for anyone that wants to pray and talk to the Father, anyone that, that have a burden for prayer. And it's basically for children, for youth, for mothers, for fathers, single, married, anyone can pick up this book and find a prayer that is pertinent to their um, individual need. And that's why I've written it the way that I have. Anybody can, can, can read it. I had one mother call me from Florida one day and she had just gotten a spirit of fear it just paralyzed her i actually put it on facebook um this the prayer that i did on fear and she said she had these fears about people um somebody hitting her from behind and uh, she and her daughter falling off a cliff and dying and she said my goodness i was so scared of getting on the freeway 
She said, you would not believe, Pastor, the fear that paralyzed me. And right there and then, I just began to pray the same prayer over the phone. And she called me back and said, it is gone. It is over. I am, in fact, she was traveling for half an hour every day back and forth to work. And it just left her like that. So it, these are spirits that affect us. And it's the power of the word of God through prayer that give us that breakthrough. And so that's why I believe these prayers are powerful for anyone. Sometimes in a crisis situation, it can be difficult to know how to pray. Mm -hmm. And here we have a resource where if, if, if your mind is going, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to say, you can simply open the book. And like here, I just happened to open to Against the Spirit of Fear. And Pastor Charlene, what a anointed prayer to, to just God. be able to, and I'm not saying read it without meaning. Exactly. Mean it in your heart, but but the words here, what can what is possible can be done. Now you just have got an audio book also available. Tell me about yes, this. Yes, yes. So many people have said to me, Pastor, I would love to hear you pray. I would just like to take these these um, prayers and stick it in a CD on my way to work or whatever. Is there a way you can produce a CD for us? So I actually recorded the prayers. And so these prayers are live and it's the same testimony. Oh my goodness. Jennifer, I am, I'm humbled. Really, I am humbled to see what God can do when he plants a vision in your heart, a purpose, and he begins to live it out through you. So the audio is available also. 31 prayers that move the hand of God. Pastor Charlene, you talk about a vision. God really planted something in your heart about yes, prayer, prayer yes. in the churches, prayer everywhere. Why? Tell me what we need when it comes to prayer in this country. Prayer is the thing, is the key that unlocks the doors of our hearts towards the Father. If we want to see God move, if we want to see breakthrough in the spirit realm, if we want to see the power of God in exhibit, Let's pray. Let's begin to find that place. And that's what I believe the enemy has taken out of the church and attempted to take out of our homes and our families, prayer. So we're so busy doing so much, trying to accomplish so much, and we forget or neglect prayer. I believe God is calling his church. I believe God is calling his people back to a place of prayer. When God's people pray, pray, things happen. And that's why the name of this book is Prayers That Move the Hand of God. I was reading this morning, I do a prayer line every day of prayer from six in the mornings, and I was doing it this morning. And one of the things that came to me is the Revelation, uh, the Revelation 8-4 passage, when John saw the angel and he had incense and he had prayers of the saints my goodness the prayers of the saints are treasurable to god it means the world to him when he hears us pray and our prayer becomes a memorial to him if you want to see breakthrough just find that place and sometimes we don't know how to pray and the beauty of it is you just talk to him just like i'm talking to you he is such a wonderful God, just ready to hear and listen to the prayers of his saints. It doesn't have to be perfect. doesn't no. have to be perfect words. No. doesn't no. have to be perfect place or anything. Any way you can cry out to him at any moment. And the fact is nobody can take that from you mm -hmm. ever. No one can ever take your pr ability to pray because it's in here. It's in here. Yes. No one can take it away. That's right. Pastor That's Charlene, right. there might be people out there saying, yes, I, I, this is me. Yes. I need this. Of course, they can contact you yes. and Pastor Darnell at New Life Church International. But as far as the book and the audio book, how can they get their own copies? I'll tell you, Jennifer, this thing, I'm so passionate about this. It means so much to me that I have given my personal cell phone number because I want when people to people call me, I can pray for them also. I want a personal relationship with the people that are purchasing this book. So you can call me at my personal phone at 419-516-9094, or you can email me at kcharlene99 at gmail.com. Okay. I'm also on Facebook at Charlene Ministries. You can also find me there. 
Excellent. And be watching for Charlene to be speaking at one of your area churches. Um, she, of course, does pastor New Life Church International here, but she is on the road quite a bit because this <laughs> yes. message of prayer God is taking all over the place. Pastor Charlene, thank you so much uh, for writing this book. Thank you for being obedient to God Praise and doing God. this. Thank you for having me, Jennifer. It is truly an honor. God bless you. Thank you.